Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the Daftar Khan Fireside Chats. We're here at the Bag Gallery Glam Fest today happening at the Expo Center in Karachi. And I have with me Hajra Yameen. She's a very famous actress and uh, we're very, very grateful to have her today uh, on this Fireside Chat with us. Uh, Hajra, I'd like to ask you some of the major questions regarding women empowerment in our country. Um, we at Daftar Khan firmly believe that empowered women empower women. Mm. And uh, today, the entire discussion that we're going to have is going to be around what, as a woman leader, how are you in your own industry? How do you feel about the other women in this uh, industry who want to take their career forward? Mm. Uh, so the first question I would like to ask you is how did you start your journey in this industry? Um, it started from theater. I remember I saw Bombay Dreams as a 13 year old. And uh, that's when I decided that I want to be a theater actress. So when I moved to Karachi from Islamabad back in 2015-16, even then I was doing theater, TV and films, like they all came accidentally, but I must say it was a good accident. So yeah, that's how so it started. So what do you enjoy the most about acting? I love what I do. Um, and the thing is, you, it's like God has given you this, you know, this, this, this teeny tiny power to, you know, cr create a character, a personality from scratch. So you get to explore the human emotions, you know, from so many different angles. Like, such ki game hai sari, because our audiences are very smart. So they can tell when, you know, you have something else on your mind and when you're not really saying your lines or portraying an emotion wholeheartedly. So, yes, it is a very isolating process as well, but I love it. I really love it. So what do you think, what is the role that you think media plays in the fashion industry today? To be very honest with you, Sanya, I feel like they're not playing a very positive role. More focus is on body types, on a certain complexion, on what sort of hair do you have, that they miss the point. They don't work on their personalities. There's no personality development. It's non-existent. So uh, I feel like, you know, and people who are different, women especially, who don't fit in, they have a really hard time making their place. So I feel like they're only making it difficult for people to approach them to be a part of this process because it has all become so much about a certain body type, you know, boy, sorry, physicalities and all of these all of these stereotypes, but there's no work on your mind, yeah. you know, on your speech. I meet a lot of people every day who say that they believe in gender equality, but not feminism. And then I Google the definition of feminism and then I tell them that it's you know, equal sexes, that's what it means. So then they realize, and feminism and being a feminist, the word itself has been villainized so much yeah. that people are scared to call themselves a feminist. They have no opinion about it. So yeah. Well, if you were to change one thing about this industry, uh, what would it be? What would to be honest with you, I feel like we lack protocol. We do. And uh, abhi aake, the government has, you know, imposed that production houses and channels need to pay royalties to artists. And I know for a fact that it will take a long time to implement this clause. But at the same time, this is only a fraction of the, of, you know, the number of things that I would like to change in the industry. Another is, you know, this victimization of women in your scripts and these ridiculous prerequisite sets which make a normal woman a villain. Yeah. You know, and another thing is that, you know, that they sensationalize the day-to-day -day routine of a woman in such a way that people start character assassination. That's true. You know, yeah. and that's when I feel like the content creators, do they even know what to put up as news? Do they know what is news? You know, there's so much happening in the world and they only focus on what a woman is doing. You know, and they end up, like the entire audience, your awam end up character assassinating that one woman and you just forget what else is happening in the world. So I really feel like our content creators need to prioritize that yeah. what news really is. So in your line of work, have you faced any challenges being a woman and how did you overcome them? So, to be very honest with you, being 
a woman in this industry, you do have to put an extra effort to claim your space. Because usually on sets, we do see that a lot of the male directors have this habit of grouping up with, you know, the male members, the cast members or other male team members and they make this group of men. So it's very difficult to keep your say in the creative process. Yeah. So this is the, I feel like this is one struggle that I have to do on every set, on most of my sets, not every set that I have to make an extra effort to voice how I feel about my character and how it should be portrayed in the scene because the opinions are mostly male dominant. Yeah. And not just actresses, but your writers, your female directors. Yeah. Like I can count on my fingertips how many female directors we have. Yeah. You know, and then, and to be honest with you, like, if if producers give them work, they're not even paid equally yeah. as their as the male directors are. So Hajra, how do you define leadership? Since we're, you know, talking in terms of women's day and feminism, I feel like culturally as well, and I, I think it has also become a part of our gene pool now, that we take leadership in the form of masculinity. You know, um, it comes on an auto to a lot of people that if a man is saying something, you know, uh, or, or being authoritative, yeah. then they would just straight up listen to him. Or someone who's older. Yeah. So I feel like, in my opinion, I may be wrong, it's obviously debatable. I feel like younger people also have full capacity to be leaders. You are a leader. I've seen you leading teams, this, you're leading this team as well and you're doing such a good job at it thank you you see and so so yeah someone who makes informed decisions someone who has the guts to actually take criticism and to learn because this is a process that never really stops and someone who has the capacity to give room to their team members to grow i feel like this is somewhere this is something we lack in this industry as well a lot of people feel threatened by other actors or by younger actors or by new actors Absolutely. and I don't know why I entered this industry you know with this mindset that you know maybe I can find people to look up to people I can turn to for advice but you can't yeah. it's a very isolating journey because people do feel threatened yeah. I'm not saying that I'm some big thing that people feel offend, feel threatened from no it can be anyone yeah. anyone who's just trying every day to make it work they will still feel threatened so Hajar, you've been part of this industry for more than six years now and I'm sure you've gone through your own set of struggles. Um, can you tell me what does failure mean to you? The thing is, if you don't fail, what's the fun in the process? Nothing comes easy. That's absolutely And true. you know, fine, um, process it. Kare gussa, you know, do all that you have to do. But don't dwell in it too much. Don't let it absorb you. I know like, it's so difficult to get out of that space. It's like a deep, deep, deep well. It's very difficult to climb up that. But like I said, it's an isolating journey. Yeah. You are your own savior. So you have to step out. Is there anyone in your life, any women role leadership that you feel has had a very positive impact on you? Sanya, I've always had multiple women, you know, remind me on multiple occasions that I can do it, that I have it in me. So it's not one woman. I mean, I'm also blessed with, you know, five sisters. Wow. So they are a big support system. And I'm the youngest, so I, you know, they were all examples for me growing up. And also my mother. So what's the best advice that you've been ever given in your life? I remember, um, I walked up to this actress, I was fangirling her and I was like, and I was new in the, in the industry and the advice that she gave me was that don't ever be afraid to say no. And it's very difficult to say no to work in this industry because you don't have any security yeah. as an artist. So every single time you read a script that does not click or it's just something that you've done way too many times and you need to break the monotony. I take days 
it gives me anxiety but you have to be brave and you have to say no true it helps you it helps you. i mean fine temporary dip aayega wo sab kuch hoga but god has his ways of telling you as well that it was the right thing to do absolutely yeah and what's the so if there's any advice you would like to give to our audience or even just women starting out their careers what would it be i know ki dar hota hai bahut zyada dar hota hai before you take take that leap but go for it don't stop you know jump take the risk don't be afraid just do it So if you think you have weaknesses that may stop you don't let them stop you and if you think you're really privileged and you know even and if you've acknowledged even that you're privileged then that is also an accomplishment don't let your privilege stop you as well step out of your comfort zone and do it we need women we need women you know to be our strength so go out there and shine Ajay thank you so much it was such a pleasure having you here with us today thank at Daftar Khan Fireside Chats and we hope that we get to see you again someday for all the rest please do follow our page Daftar Khan um and do let us know if you would like to have certain sessions with women leaders in the future as well thank you mm-hmm.